everyone this is Brenda from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading welcome to our channel today we have quite a pantry haul for you we've been staying busy on the homestead today made some chocolate chocolate chip cookies uh, this morning for Tim and we've been busy with the garden and Tim has been working on the camper that we purchased and doing dehydrating and canning so Guess what I found, guys? Found some two quart canning jars. I found them at Walmart for $13.97 a piece. I bought a couple. These I think will round out my supply nicely. I love these for my dried goods. Um, you can't really actually can in them. You can can juice in them, but that's about it. But I like to, just for general storage purposes, I keep my sugar and flour in these with the uh, plastic lids and they work out great. So I was quite happy to find these and um, going to be using them to store the things that I've been stocking up on in my pantry. Finally <laughs> making headway in uh, doing some pantry organization and trying to catching up on uh, putting things away. So let me show you what we got. So these are the cookies I made for Tim this morning. He hasn't come in to sample them yet, but he really enjoys these. He loves. And we recently became members of Sam's Club, which is like a Costco or BJ's wholesale club. They had a a special going on uh, you could sign up for a year for eight dollars so we came we did it just in time it was only they were only doing that promotion for about six days so I signed up and uh, did make a trip there about uh, a week ago and only bought three items this time we were members of Sam Club sam's club probably like 20 years ago and um you have to be careful because some prices are great and some prices are the same as you would pay anywhere else or sometimes they're even more expensive so we got some uh good deals there this time and i took some pictures of the other items that i was interested in because uh you know how they always try to fool you with the toilet paper how many sheets in a roll or paper towels and things like that so I want to make sure I'm getting a good deal before I make those purchases so I did buy some for jars canning lids Lisa from Sut Sutton's Days um, has been using these and she's been having great success I have not been impressed with the ball lids and actually, this time when I canned uh, this Hamburg, actually all of my lids sealed. So <laughs> now that I bought the other ones, but um, usually I have a couple failures when I'm canning like, you know, 10 jars or so. And that's kind of frustrating. I mean, it doesn't go to waste, but you'd rather put that stuff on your shelf. So one of the items we got at... Sam's Club was these Nature's Bakery Fig Bars that Tim enjoys and came in the, the two flavors that he loves, blueberry and raspberry. And these were actually a really good deal. It was $10.88 for 32 uh, twin packs. And the ones I get at, get at Walmart, Walmart, it's a smaller package. But buying this one, I saved $6.50. So that was awesome. And I did get this box of minute rice and it's 72 ounces. And it came out, I don't usually buy the name brand of minute rice, but they didn't have um, just a generic brand. So it came out to the same price as I would pay for the generic brand at Walmart. But if you like minute rice just that brand then yes you are saving by buying it at sam's club uh, versus um, at walmart 
I did buy some more spaghetti sauce for Tim. Uh, he just used up a jar, so I wanted to add a couple more to the pantry and replace the one that we had used. And these are good till April of 24. And these are more convenience items. Got a couple brownie mixes and one cake mix. Of course, they're all chocolate. <laughs> if I am too busy to actually make uh, something from scratch, then I can quickly make him something that he um, can enjoy. And I got one tub of frosting, which is good until November of 23. Got some more raisins at Hannaford. These are good until June of 24. Thought they were kind of expensive, but they are um, 20 ounces. And I think they were like $3.80 a piece. But I will put these, get them out of the cardboard containers and put these in some glass jars and vacuum seal them. I also got some more Parmesan cheese. This is shelf stable until you open it. This is good until April of 24. Tim really doesn't use that much of it. Um, but we just he just opened up the jar that we had in the pantry. So replacing that. I like these storage bags. They don't have a, a Ziploc closure. But these are nice um, if you're making your own bread. They're nice, a good size for that, and you can just use the twist tie to store your bread. And we find, uh, and I do put my lettuce in it that I uh, wash, rinse, and spin from the garden. And it stores nicely in these bags with like a paper towel to absorb the extra moisture. It's grilling season, and Tim likes these little fire starters. It was just under $6 for this box. They're not really inexpensive, but if it helps them get the grill going without using lighter fluid, I'm all for it because <laughs> we use uh, charcoal for our grill. This was another item I got at Sam's Club, and it was $8.92 for this 15-pound uh, bag, and... Again, this came out to the same that I was paying for the boxes that I was getting at Hannaford if uh, I added it ounce per ounce, or it, was, it wasn't a much of a difference. But still a decent price, and I got the last bag on the pallet. I don't know if they had any more out back. Sometimes they have these promotions, and they're just for a period of time, and that's it. So, got some more of my gluten-free pasta. Got three spaghettis and one penny. And got some more baby wipes. This is a three-pack that I got at Walmart. I looked at Sam's. They didn't have any at all. They did have diapers, though, which was good. I don't need diapers, but <laughs> uh, we, we use these uh, during the summertime. We like to keep one in each vehicle and also for they're great for camping. Got some more canola oil. As we all know, all kinds of oils are going to be, there's going to be a shortage and the price is climbing. But these were $5 a piece for, I believe, 32 ounces. So these are good until March of 24, which is good for oil. And if we keep them cool, they'll probably last longer than that. So I was happy with that. I was really shopping for the expiration date when I was looking for these. Got some more just regular paper plates. I don't like the coated ones. Uh, we use them sometimes in the microwave, and I don't want that whatever coating they put on there um, releasing into the food. Got a couple more cans of the B&M beans. These are good until April of uh, May of 24. And got we actually got a couple boxes of the uh, store brand Raisin Bran, which Tim found that he enjoys. And this is good until uh, March of 23. And this is an 18.7 ounce box. 
and they were a dollar ninety nine. So that's why I grabbed the second one, and because the other one will last in the pantry if he gets sick of the first box, because he does tend to rotate through different kinds of cereal. I got some more Vienna sausages. These are climbing in price, uh, but want to keep adding protein to our pantry. I enjoy these, and Tim does as well. Um, I don't think he would eat them on a daily basis, but definitely in, in a pinch he would. And Shaw's actually had a good deal on the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. These are 18 ounces and they were three for five dollars. So they were a dollar sixty-seven a piece, which is a good price. The, most of the other stores had them for sale for two dollars and fifty cents. And I think these are good until 23. Yeah, May of 23. And mustard. Mustard is also becoming in short supply. I was, I should have taken a picture. I was kind of shocked when I got to Walmart. And literally their little mustard section was one shelf and it was only like five or six bottles wide. And I didn't, I didn't check to see if it went all the way back, <laughs> but it looked so sad. It was like surrounded by ketchup and whatever, and it was only that small section of mustard. So I got a bottle there, and I also got a bottle at Hannaford. They both have the same expiration date, which I wasn't totally impressed with. I was hoping to have find some that were at least a couple years out, but I did want to add some to the pantry. Um, we don't want to run out because it does add some flavor to our meals. Got some more apple cider vinegar. Got a couple of bottles of those. And they got these at Walmart and um, they didn't have any of the regular brags. They had one with, I don't know, it was some kind of spice in it. <laughs> and we didn't, I don't think we'd ever use that. So we just, I uh, got a couple of the uh, Great Value brand and these are good till April of 24. And Shaw's also had a sale on their tuna again, buy two, get two free. And these came out to $1.25 a piece. These, as I've mentioned before, they do put soy in their broth, which I can't have because uh, of allergies, but I can have this one. It's, all it is is with salt and water, which is great. And uh, these are still $1.87 a piece at Walmart. Got a couple more cans of artichokes. And I got some more of my aminos because I'm finishing up a bottle now. And I definitely don't want to run out of that because that adds flavor to all of my um, stir fries and noodles and so forth. And back here, I forgot, we did get some more dishwasher um, packets, which is a more natural version. Uh, we're not running out, but I wanted to make sure we had an extra package. So what do you think, guys? Are you guys a member of Sam's Club? Are there any good deals that you have found that are worth uh, stocking up on? I'm still navigating that territory, I guess. I I feel like I've all, I'm an always an aggressive shopper. I'm not one of those uh, coupon ladies or anything like that. I do uh, save coupons, I guess, but I don't like, you know, I'm not one of those people where I only pay 50 cents for a cart full of groceries. <laughs> I don't know if people can still do that anymore or not, but... Um, yeah, I'd have no problem going to four, maybe five stores to get the sale items at that particular store, and that's all I get there. So I am willing to put in that time and effort to save money. And if Sam's becomes part of that rotation, then, then we'll renew our membership, but that remains to be seen you know is a year's worth of things that we buy there is that going to be worth the 45 dollar sign up fee but for eight dollars i figured we'd try them again <laughs> and uh, tim hasn't been there yet i'm sure there will be items that he finds that are a good deal or that he needs 
So let us know what you've been stocking up on, what you've been prepping, if you have any suggestions for everyone in this community, please like and share this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.